uh, Fatima Hawkins, out of office from Donata, is going to share with us her ideas about how to get out of the office. Ready? Here you go. Hi, everybody. Um, too often, we in the travel industry assume or equate travel to be about holidays, business travel, uh, short breaks, so on and so forth. I think that's a huge mistake. Travel is so much more. It's about experiences. That's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Experiential leave. We're all used to maternity leave, annual leave. We want employers to give us experiential leave. One month, every year, you get to pack your bags, move into a country of your choice. You can either go yourself or you can take your family with you and you get to live, breathe, act, and experience everything like a true local. Imagine how cool that would be. You get, you get to learn, you get to teach, and this is not difficult. There are tools out there in, the, in, in uh, the market that you can use. There's so much of technology, whether you want to go and research online, you want to go and meet your travel agent, whatever your needs, you can find something that is tailor-made to you. You can pay for this because while you're on experiential leave, you still get your salary. Um, and there's again tools like Airbnb, you can rent your apartment, you can rent your car, and you can go away for a month and enjoy living life like a local. That could be you, rather than sitting in the office, yeah? So Monday to Friday, you continue doing your day job in, in an exotic location, uh, but for the rest of the time, you get to really immerse yourself in the destination. You get to come back with beautiful pictures like this, which have much more meaning. There's real experiences. You get to learn new languages. You get to meet new people. You get to really understand um, where you are. It's not just about coming back with a few souvenirs. Um, everybody benefits. Uh, the place where you live, they benefit because you're renting out your own place. And of course, uh, where you're traveling, those economies benefit. But this is just a stepping stone to what my, my true idea is, as the lady is doing. Experiential leave is really a transition to the big thing, the next big thing. Da -da 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 -da. Vocational travel. When it starts off, experiential leave, we sponsor it. But going forward, what we want to do is we want our companies to embrace this. Our companies will send us across oceans. They will pick up the cost for this because they will see the value of it. We come back refreshed. We come back with new skills. We come back having learned so much more. We come back having made new friends. Our families come back refreshed. There's, there's so many trends out there and companies are embracing these trends and they're gonna do that even more going forward. Uh, the new LinkedIn, yeah, this is gonna be a new way of connecting people to brand new experiences. And this is not restricted to any profession, doctors, lawyers, architects, anybody can embrace this. You just have to match your skill set, pack your bags, and off you go. And the company is going to help us with workshops for cultural integration, uh, logistical needs, so on and so forth. Our companies are going to help us. Let's, let's bring a revolution. Let's not just go to a destination and come back with a few photographs and a souvenir. That's not travel. Travel is really coming back with stories. Yeah, and do all this while you're still on the company payroll, okay? So let's start lobbying, and as CJ said, own it. Thank you.